Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Geheimnisnacht with the Warhammer mod and of course King Helmut, the cleansing flame of the Terrorlight Empire. He is hoping it won't crash again. Of course, we are. Well, we have to reseed everything again because we have to do this war. But this is. I don't remember if we actually finished this war last time. I don't think we did. But this is a good opportunity. Because it means that we can do something that was suggested to me, and that is an elven breeding program. So we can do that. That's nice, isn't it? Uh, we cannot conquer this territory right now. We could march north, and actually... Oh, that's nice. My wife finally gave me a son. Uh, he's going to be named... What? <coughs> what did I just do? What, 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 what did I just do? I think I took a screenshot. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna name him Jeff Kite. In honor of Jeff Kite. Yeah, okay, he just won the war against my wife. Which means I need to move this army up north. Do I still have the other army of my... No, I do not. Why don't we raise them up real quick? And maybe move them south to deal with this other menace that we now is there. Uh, this down here. Oh, maybe it is not actually here. Where is this rebellion? Right there, huh? Do I have any troops I can raise? So far I do, but they're not gonna do much. Apart from dying. Well, but that's, that's okay. Uh, they didn't actually lose a single man. So we're gonna march... Yeah, we're gonna march over there. Blasted traitors have risen up. And we have a 10,000 strong army over here. We're gonna march north to defeat these <coughs> goblins real quick. Sorry, I, I have something in my throat or something. Something, I don't know. Yeah, we're just gonna quickly take over this land. Put this army up. Send the larger force over there. The other force is going to march all the way up north. This goblin has no chance against our vast superior armies. So, I am not afraid of them. I am not afraid. And I don't think this army is n big enough to actually take his capital still, but it will try. Let's quickly take these territories so that we can march south again. One of my commanders was improved, that's nice. We're actually being attacked here by him. So why don't we counter march against him and march over to this province to take it. While you march over here. We're going to make peace with this goblin. And I'm sure this province is actually in the kingdom of Karasankor. This man does not have enough gold to do this himself. So we're gonna cleans cleanse it for him. Or we march over here to defeat this revolt. Very nice. Okay, the revolt is gone. Where's this other revolt? Is it this one? Ah, it's over here. Yeah, this guy is going to take care of it himself. So why don't we march you north? And we might declare war. Oh no, this is a bigger war. Orc, I remember. Can't actually do that. What we can do though is just quickly win this war. By marching our armies south and north. And do not accept his peace treaty. God damn it, I have something in my throat right now. It was not there when I started recording. That's annoying. <coughs> I'm sorry. It's just. Sometimes it's stuff like that happens. It's, it's very annoying. Good, we actually took out this guy so we can convert this province and give it to this king as he deserves it. The county of Khazad surely done. And why don't you just quickly attack this and we're gonna march over here. I think actually we didn't finish the war, if I remember correctly. The war wasn't yet done. Uh, you move over here. So that's actually somewhat nice. Is there a kingdom I could form? No, 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 Ostermark. I'm gonna s settle, so the elven breeding program is going to take place and I think it's going to place take place in the kingdom of Kislev, which 
Now that I think about it, we do need to take these territories over here. And I just retreated from this province, which I certainly... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I suppose you're going to run over there now, so why don't you move back? Um, didn't mean to retreat my army, obviously. But you'll have to do on your own. The King of Azuli. Burn him. You want to accept... Uh, you want to surrender? I'll accept. Wait, what? No, apparently I rule this territory now. I'm gonna transfer the vassalage to him. That's going to be okay. Uh, this army is just going to stay up north for now. Uh, the Black Blitz, which I think is a wonderful name. For anything, really. And with that, we nearly have everything under our control, so... Yeah, we just need this last territory right here. So why don't you just attack it? There we go. Everything is... You murderous bastard! You absolute madman have murdered me son. Yeah, well, that, uh, that puts a little bit of a hamper on things, doesn't it? So you, you're gonna be pride here. And, well, I suppose we need a new successor, which no, I guess is going to be Tannist Engmar for now. Because, uh, what, what other choice do I have? Uh, we also need to change this over here. Just need to be at peace, which is good. That's good. Uh, which we can actually just go ahead and do, I think. So, yeah. Let's conquer all of this territory. Send everyone home. And now we just do what we always do and cleanse a lot of land. Of course, we once more have way too many titles. And we actually need to go to Imperial Law very soon because we have too many vassals. Which is always a, you know, it's a pretty good thing actually if you think about it. Having too many kings under your rule is, is actually good. Though of course I have titles in like three kingdoms. Or actually I think four different kingdoms. I did want to give the titles in the kingdom of keys left to my wife but I suppose it's going to be made into an elven breeding place like it's going to be like an exhibit just this is where we keep our elves and I suppose they're gonna live happily ever after after Ulfen was burnt or sank or whatever happened to Ulfen so now we're gonna wait uh, until a couple of these titles have been cleansed. Steve Unton, you're going to be a martial educator. I could legitimize you, but I don't want to do that. I don't think that's necessary. Okay, this land down here, which is, of course, in Ostermark. I don't have any other titles yet in the Ostermark, so we're gonna not give it to the... Who are you? I suppose we don't need to murder you anymore, and not that the plot worked anyways. Uh, we do need to conquer this territory, because that's that's just ugly. Also, we need to conquer this, and this over here, and a couple of other things, but one thing after another. Also, this orc horde seems a lot weaker, which is good. means we could maybe retake the Imperial Reichland. No, no, they're still quite strong. But you are just a child. Is there still someone left of my dynasty? Yes, but she doesn't want to come to my court. There's one last member of my dynasty, my niece. And she's married normally. Could buy a favor from her, but that's not really... I want to murder her husband. Yes, that is what I want to do. Why do I want to murder her husband? 
Because I want her in my realm so that I can declare war on... To claim the Imperial Reichland once more for my... For my dynasty. Okay. Uh, I do need to recruit a soldier still. Uh, we could teach ourselves magic maybe at some point. If we actually ever get a, someone who's smart, that is. Uh, I'm Harry, and you are quick. Quick is good. That's a good trait. I think a genius is always guaranteed. It's not guaranteed, but it's very likely to actually be magical in some ways. Uh, speaking about the whole realm thing, I need religious control mandate. Oh, this. Okay, I, I need this in my kingdom. I can do that, but let's uh, change this first. Once we are at peace. Because I don't know if I can do that again. But let's not get distracted here, which I'm totally doing right now. So you, uh, Harryman, you're a dualist, you're a great human. You're going to get the county of Ragak. And all the titles underneath it. And Nagenhof as well. So. Uh, Nagenhof, Nagenhof. Where are you, my good old... There you are. I can't create any kingdoms, I think. I could create the kingdom of Varagwa, but obviously I don't want that. And there's a bunch of other kingdoms I could create, but they also only are titular. Which don't interest me. This over here, what kingdom is this? This is a new kingdom, uh, this is the kingdom of Ungor Angkor. Which is going to go to another man. Not an elf though. Just a normal soldier. And this province was called, I think... It was this one? Yes. Something something S. Solace. Perfect. And some are marauding. Okay, this is also going to go to you. It is Mount Kalnir. And the more titles I can give away, the better. Okay, this might actually be the first title in Kislev. So this is going to go to my court physician. If he can actually make children. And he's going to create his own uh, courtiers, which means he's going to create his own children and all, his own wife, basically. Uh, yes, I know, that sounds kind of iffy if you say it that way. He's going to create his own wife, but he is going to do that. It's the county of Vedluga, I think, that was converted. Indeed, it was. So there you go. You are of the highborn concorded. The High Elves rely on a mild form of autocracy, centered on cities rather than fortresses. All the Elven princes are respected and obeyed and pass down their titles by blood. They are required to treat properly all their highborn subjects. Elven rulers cannot imprison any of their subjects without proper reason and cannot revoke titles from their Elven vessels, except in some extreme circumstances. In return, they have absolutely no obligations in regard of their inferior non-Elven subjects. Wow! Good thing I did that. Though, this looks really sweet, like this uh, elven ring around it. Though, he might actually like... Uh, yeah, I, because we are, I'm a human and he's an elf, so he doesn't like me. But not by that much. He doesn't dislike me too much, so it's all fine. And you're going to get the Runde Spitze. Yeah, be prepared for a lot of that, uh, by the way, which... I guess you are, because we had this happen quite a lot. Just, you know, uh, giving away these new titles after conquering a lot of land from orcs. But it's a, it's a quick way to actually just expand. This is the title of Vidvo. Not even same, the right name, I think. By the way, what is our... We want to groom an heir, sure, why not? What about our daughter? She's betrothed. The other one is not yet of age. She is of the wrong religion. So that's bad. 
And while we are slowly but surely giving away titles, we still have way too many. Oh, these guys are kind of a republic? I definitely want to create a republic. Uh, so, but I'm gonna do that over here in Tilea. Like this kingdom over here, maybe, uh, Varesso. The Lucchini would be a better one. Of course, this would have been a perfect republic to actually create because it has just so much coastline. This would also be, oh, you know, the this island kingdom would be pretty good as well. Or just Satosa. But uh, I'm not gonna be able to take it. <coughs> Obviously. So, where are you? Tailite Zealot Uprising? All the way down here? Vessels, go and take care of that, really. Oh, because you hate me. Ah, yeah, I forgot. That is the thing. You hate me because I have these titles under my control. And you, you kind of want them. Oh, you don't, you don't want them, but you just hate me because I have them. So, that's always bad. Uh, ta Terlite Phoenix have a special presence in Saipan. Yeah, but we are Terlite. So, why are Fanatics really all that bad? If you consider, if you, if you think about it. Can I not create, like, a duchy for you? That would be much easier. Also, because then you could have your own dukes. I just don't want you to have this title, maybe. Because you don't have enough gold. But I'm just gonna give you the duchy. And then just send you some gold over or something. Maybe buy a favor? Sure, 200 gold, there you go. And I've got a favor in return, even though I don't need it. Or I don't really want it, either. Sometimes I don't even know what to do with these favors. Uh, lecture on Siege Warfare. The Siege Warfare is good uh, when we fight against non-orcs. Okay, more land needs to be cleansed. Yeah, it's not that much anymore. It's only like five titles. Uh, we are still at war down here. And uh, I hope... Yeah, they're gonna take care of that pretty easily here, I think. Or we've built a gunnery school in the Ever Peak. Telebeglandian Beast Hunters, huh? Or a coaching inn. I think a coaching inn might be good. Don't want to spend too much money. Because, yeah, wow, I make eight gold right now. That's perfect. That's exactly how much gold I envisioned my empire to make. Not. Purgatory. Pugachi. Pugacheyev. It's close enough. Uh, who are these guys, by the way? Wait, what? This Zellite Uprising got allies up here? Well, that's just randomly... Uh, okay. This is part of your domain. Elven Prince. Kalinora. No, no, not, not the, the Duchy of Kalinora. Not the Duchy, the, the province. Where's the, where's, the, where's the province of Kalinora? There. Wait, why do I have so many cities? Uh, oh, these guys are just... Oh, oh, oh I see. They're not actually <laughs> green. That's why I don't get anything to clean them. So I'm just gonna give them away. Oh, by the way, maybe I should create a duchy. Uh, before I give away this title. Though, of course, now I can't. Can I not create a duchy up here? That would be quite useful to have for him. Or, or maybe not. Maybe maybe he doesn't need a duchy. Yeah, no. You, you, you don't deserve a duchy. Sorry, man. A little too late, probably, on that. I could have created a duchy down here. But now I only have one title too much. Too many. Whatever. And everyone is going to like me a little bit more. And even this title is going to be cleansed and given to the elf. Though the elf has way too many titles to actually do anything. And hopefully I get more gold. Yes, I do. Okay, great. Now, of course, what I did last time was give all these guys in the im gesegneten Land and Strugos. By the way... I, oh, I can still change it. Oh, really? 
Maybe I should rename some more lands then. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's just Gesignete. That is so much better than what I typed in. Thanks, Schluppi, for saying that. Uh, just brain farted or something. My father just passed away. Oh no. Um, yeah, I could rename some other kingdoms. Like. Well, I don't know. Like, you know, maybe the Ever Pig, though. Maybe we, we, we will rename the kingdom and the, the, the Ever Pig itself. But who knows? Maybe not. Um, for now, I'm just gonna save up some money. And change some laws once I can. What are you now? Second. Why do I have land over here? No, for real. Why do I have land over here? Who belongs? Stayer. Oh, I remember. I got this land all like 200 years ago. And I, I didn't I lose that? Didn't? The, when I lost my title to uh, and an other emperor ruled my land for a short time, didn't I lose this land to Sylvania? Which, uh, by the way, doesn't exist anymore. Also, you are currently losing a peasant revolt. I wish I could declare war. I have a couple of courtiers, but they're not of my dynasty. This guy is just... Is a bastard of my dynasty? Yo, can I legitimize him? No, certainly not. I can change his focus to heritage. But... Oh, I could if you were younger. That's actually useful. But yeah, she was a bastard, so I would probably need to... Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. There's just no claimant of my dynasty, I think, apart from, well, this woman. She doesn't want to come to my court, and I don't think I can press her claim otherwise. Uh, I could buy a favor. Don't know if that's going to make her much more likely to come to my court, if she even can. Yeah, how about you, you... No, not to my flood. Yeah, she must not be married. Hey, invite to my plot. Can I, like, force her to come to my plot? No? It's a shame. Like, hey, you owe me a favor. Kill this guy. Also, everyone, could you just please join these wars? Like, why have you all marched up? No yeah, go. Go, go, go and kill them. Exactly. That's gonna teach this uprising. A most impressive woman has recently arrived at your court. Apparently the reason for her visit has been to arrange a trade agreement with the local merchants. While well, people did not think much of her at first, now you've heard many courtiers praising her savvy business sense. Perhaps you should make her an offer. She becomes my steward and she owes me a favor. But someone else is going to be rather mad about it because he was fired from my council though he is also a very bad steward which leads me to think maybe I well, uh, my elf is no longer my core physician no that's not right I also have a vampiric dude anyways let's look at our council like look at these guys some of them are really good she's the best apparently we have and they're all really good uh, organize the army. Mm, no, well, could research military tech. You should like collect taxes again. I think, or maybe oversee construction. I think that's a good idea as well. I mean, do I want some knights? Like, how much do you cost? Six. Can I have my calculator out because I don't? So we have. S 2,000, uh, 2,500, we have 25,000. Durch 600. So I could, wow, okay, that's a lot. Um, times 100. Okay, I could, no, that can't be true. No, 
I don't know if I calculated something wrong, but technically I could get 4,000 knights. If I had all that gold, which is like 8,000, I think. Something along the lines. 8,000 8, something something. Uh, what do you want? Peace be with you. Uh, you want to join my war. Mm, Alright. By the way, this Terlite Revolt is led by a human who leads orcs into battle. <coughs> Could, Jesus Christ. Could you just not create... be like revolting against me for just a moment? No, 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 no. No, go away. No, oh, uh, of course. Why do my vessels hate me now? They shouldn't. Well, I guess a standing army would be good for exactly this case, but we could also just have these guys as our standing army. Which also, I need 1,000 more of them. Wait, there's one missing. Ah, oh, there they are. The artillery regiment, of course, is what I'm talking about. And yeah, I could get the holy orders because they're cheap, uh, or for free rather. That's not even worth selling them for. Much these guys up north, while well, this revolt's getting taken care of. Something is my mouse. <laughs> Sorry for that. So the empire is a goddamn mess. Not mine empire, the actual empire. This one. But we're going to take care of this orc horde first, and then maybe the black blitz. Oh, it's actually the black bits, not the black bits. Oh, that's disappointing. The black blitz does sound way better than black bits. Though, are you a black orc? No, you are not. That's disappointing as well. Okay, but why didn't you finish them off? I don't have enough troops over here to actually do it myself. Great. Uh, dude, I'm a bit concerned about this war you can do. Oh, yeah. Send yeah, 12 gold. That's going to really make a difference. It's not even going to cover the cost. Yeah, it's going to cover the cost of my troops for two months, actually. Surprisingly enough, very cheap troops. Oh, shit, I have fatigue. This, the day drags on, seemingly never ending. You can barely keep your eyes open. You seem to have no energy at all. Hmm. Yeah. Heal me. Okay, he healed me. Or something. Okay, why is this revolt so Okay, I have fever now. So persistent. I don't like that. We're actually going to attack this guy next. And Bretonia. That's going to be the big war. Okay. Just off a white piece. Wait, what? What do you own? The Abbey over here? Yeah, whatever. Get independent, I don't care. This guy's probably going to declare war on you anyways. Um, now I can change the law to make this a tanistry. And say you are going to be the prince of that. While I go into my realm and I say we will do this. And now we need to wait for 10 years to do this again. Could also raise the law for women. Which, oh yeah, I totally can do. What do we need? Allows absolutely connectic. Okay, female rulers do not occur negative opinion ratifies. That is so good. I want that. Just in case. Vice royalties, I don't really need. Especially because it gives me minus 5 vassal limit. And at, so at a certain point, everyone is going to hate you for your wise royalties. Uh, external or internal? I don't know if I want to forbid this, to be honest. To declare war against each other. Because I, while I do like having it as clean as these lands are, for example, I'm never going to be able to clean up this mess. But then again, neither are there. Especially because look at this. It's just a, just a hot mess. How did you manage to do that? 
Maybe I want to forbid it. Sure, let's forbid it. There you go. You can only declare war on others now. No longer on yourself. Maybe that will even get them to attack, you know, external threats more. Like this guy. And while everyone is going to focus on that, I might just well declare war on... on Bretonia. You are the Prince of Newmark, and you want Morgnir. We only can get this title, huh? Well, it's, a, it's a start. I don't get why you get this down here. What is what is Morgnir? <laughs> Monte Castello, yeah, yeah, I get it, but... What do you actually have a claim on? Yeah, and, and this one title. I don't know why this other king down there is highlighted. Maybe because it's Bretonia. Is that actually the capital of it? Alright then. That's weird. But yeah, we're gonna declare war on this. And Bretonia is strong, don't get me wrong. They are mighty strong. But they're also in 2000 wars. So that's also good. And we're also not weak, so that's also nice. So while all these guys are going to march over here, we can immediately attack it. We have 15,000 men ourselves. Though we need a lot more if we actually want to... Oh, really? Now you decide to attack me, huh? And I'm apparently... Who's actually attacking me? Oh, this orc! Oh, this goblin down here. You are so annoying. You're not even the real leader. <clears throat> Do I just want to surrender to you? This is the problem when you attack someone large. Everyone else is just going to be, oh yeah, well, no, it's our time to strike. So what am I going to do here? First of all, I'm going to raise uh, these guys as well. And I might... Ow, you know what? Ow, you know what? <laughs> I can't found an artillery regiment. That's it. In that case, I'm just going to hire some really strong mercenaries, maybe. Like the Griffin Legion. Definitely can afford them. Maybe some other guys here, the Sons of War. And instead, they're going to march south, I suppose. To take care of the goblins. So why don't we march over to somewhere where we actually can stand without suffering attrition? Like... Absolutely nowhere. Now our capital is fine. Our capital is fine. Uh, as, at least it, as long as you know what you're doing. I think he's pretty good. So... Yeah, I actually feel better. Thank you. And we're still making money because we are just filthy rich. And I've got a bastard with whom? Oh, the, the, the Prince of Minland. Uh, Lodovic, yes, you are the other son that I, I lost, so there you go. Oh yeah, I forgot that we're actually fighting this orc as well. Well, I, uh, <coughs> this is a good place to end the episode. I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed them, consider leaving a like and a comment below. And we will see us in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye.